Joining us now, a duo of outstanding gymnasts, both hailing from the same family. Emily Vidmar, current standout for BYU, and her father, Peter Vidmar, a three-time Olympic medalist. Welcome to Studio B, both of you. Great to be here. Thanks. Look, I don't know <laughs> if we've had a gold medalist on the set, so can we, yeah. like, <laughs> can we clap for okay. that? That's pretty all right, cool. All right. We've had Olympians, but not gold medalists. <laughs> My first question I want actually to address to Emily, when did you get interested in gymnastics? Well, I started at a very young age, but I didn't actually start competing in artistic gymnastics till I was about 11, which is late for most gymnasts, but I think one thing I really loved about it was just all my a lot of my closest friends were doing it and you know, a lot of my family members did it, but I was the only one who stuck with it. Was it some, how was that dynamic? Peter, where you have daughters, your yeah. parents were gymnasts, like well, I had everyone some, expects them to be you gymnasts. Had sons probably, and right? daughters that all did gymnastics at some point. Uh, two of my sons gravitated to wrestling. My, my daughter, Catherine, actually ran cross country and track here at BYU for four years. So, um, but Emily's the one that really just stuck with gymnastics and really focused on it and was extremely dedicated. And very, we're, we're both very proud of her and um, as we are of all of our children, but uh, she's, she's the one that's really put the hours in and, and it's great to see where she's developed. What is it like for you to sit back as a parent now, having excelled yourself at gymnastics, and watch your daughter <clears throat> compete at a high level? You know, it's different. I was more nervous watching my sons wrestle than I was watching her do gymnastics, <laughs> simply because I know gymnastics, and so I know she's going to make a mistake before she actually makes it. When you see her tap is off on the swing or something's a little bit off, you know that trouble's brewing. And fortunately, I don't see that very often at all anymore because she's done so well. But uh, in other sports that I don't really understand as much, all of a sudden I think, well, why is he on his back? What happened? How did that happen? So, <laughs> yeah, I don't know so, what's going on. so I don't really understand. So gymnastics uh, is less stressed. My wife gets very stressed watching Emily compete. My wife was a gymnast at UCLA, the captain mm -hmm. of the team back when we met uh, in college. Is that where you, you so, met at UCLA? We did, yes. Uh -huh. yep. Okay. Yep. Emily, you have a, a brand new coach in Guard Young, tremendous experience mm -hmm. for him. Who do, you, who do you listen to more, Guard or your dad? <laughs> uh, probably Guard. <laughs> That's a good, That's a good <laughs> answer, right? That's a good answer. Yeah, he's the, you know, he's in the gym every day, so he knows all of our mistakes and what we need to work on. What kind of difference have you <clears throat> noticed as he has taken over now in year one at BYU? Like, what, is there anything that you're just like, oh, man, this, this dynamic has totally changed? Um, I would say it's a lot more... I don't know. I feel like there's just a lot more hard work put into everything. That's like the biggest thing I've noticed. It's a lot more organized, a lot more involvement in our lives, a lot more involvement with gymnastics, trying to get everything, the word out there just to build up our program. Detail oriented. Yeah. Peter, when you look at uh, your ability to, you, you still got it. You still got it. You do hands to eat. Did a handstand competition or something at a meet? Can you still do that? Uh, oh, Can you guys compete we, in that? We, we compete against each other all the time. I'll, I won't tell you who wins, but we have a lot of fun with little Emily, contests. Emily, who wins? In the Me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know that that's true. Okay, it's a tie. Okay. So. Oh, it's a tie. tie. You know, it's, but I'll tell you, it's interesting to see the dynamic uh, with BYU Gymnastics. Brad and Don Catamull, I'm very grateful for them in, in providing this opportunity for Emily, and she's a much better gymnast than she was when she arrived at BYU. Brad taught me my very first gymnastic skill when I was about 10 years old, and he was a high school gymnast at Westchester High in Los Angeles. So now I mm. become a gymnast training with Makoto Sakamoto, uh, who was the great Olympian from the USA, and he was my coach. I, I idolized uh, Wayne Young, who, Guard's father, who was an NCAA champion and an Olympian from BYU. Wayne becomes the head coach at BYU. And then Wayne goes on to medical school, and Mako Sakamoto becomes the head coach at BYU and coaches Guard Young. Look and then, and then wow. Guard becomes the head coach now at BYU, and he's coaching my daughter. So it's amazing how this sh little family's kind of come full circle. Yeah. And this is her senior year, so this kind of all concludes this year. So my wife and I are trying to get to every meet this year. That was unbelievable. We're going to have to write that <laughs> yeah. to, to, to <laughs> figure out the connections. Please. My goodness, that was amazing. <laughs> okay, Emily, as a senior now, because this is your swan song, uh, can we just can <clears throat> we start referring to you, Peter, as, as Emily Vidmar's dad? Instead of Emily being your daughter, uh, I, I don't know. I, I yeah, I think uh, I would be Emily Vidmar's father. I've always felt that way, to be honest with you, as well as with the rest of our children. So one time, I, I think I uh, embarrassed Devin Durant because I said, "Are you Mark's brother?" You know, the the great basketball player. Mark said, "Yeah, everyone always calls me the brother, not him the brother." Yeah, so th <laughs> so that happened. Uh, tell us a little bit about the upcoming season. I know Friday against the Red Rocks, Utah, mm -hmm. and Salt Lake, an exciting yeah. opportunity for you guys. 
I'm super excited for this season. I'm really pumped to see the potential that our team has, and it's going to be fun. Gymnastics is way fun. So, How is the health of the team right now? I know that there were some injury concerns last year, but how overall, how is the health of this BOE gymnastics team? Um, all right, now we you know there's always injuries. Definitely still struggling with that, but overall we look healthier than last year, which is good because there's a lot of gymnasts that we still need on this team that are doing better. So that's good. The, for those that don't, you know, watch a lot of gymnastics, um, I I got really into it when I started calling the meets in in 2008 through 11, and now Spencer has, has picked that up, but. Playing Utah or competing with Utah is very interesting because it's not necessarily head-to-head. -head. You want to get your best score. You want to beat them, per se, but it's not necessarily about the win. Can you explain that dynamic, especially against a rival? Yeah, that's the nature of gymnastics. It's a team competition. It's based solely on collective individual performances. And so you can have you have no effect on the opponent. You're not setting up a block or a screen. No defense. There's, yeah. There's, there's, yeah. It just doesn't exist in the sport. It's up to you. But... The other thing about gymnastics is that you are utterly, completely alone out there on the floor. It's you and the apparatus. And so, in a way, there's a little bit more pressure, a little more focus on that one athlete's performance. And that's what I really admire about these young women on the floor is that they can tune out the crowd noise, they can tune out all distraction, and they can get on a four-inch wide beam and do amazing skills. And it's really uh, fun to watch. And the level is, just keeps getting higher every year. Uh, I, she's doing skills on the uneven bars that – are, are harder than some of the skills they did on the horizontal bar when I was in the Olympics. And so to see the sport advance the way it has is just really exciting. I just don't know where it's going to be 20 years from now. Yep. It's amazing. Emily, you do a scale on the beam, and again, it's four <laughs> inches wide. I believe it's called the Lucan, right? Nastia Lucan was the first to do it, where yeah. you flip forward and then land on one leg, mm -hmm. which is just, it's just crazy, <laughs> okay? And there's no other word for it. Like, every time I see it, I'm like, Oh my goodness. <laughs> hey, how do you zone in on that and not let the thousands of people that will be watching in the Huntsman Center on, on Friday affect you in that performance? For me, what really helps is I just really focus on, I have like two key words that I always say before I do the skill. And if I just focus on those two key words, then the skill just comes. Because I've done it so many times, I have the muscle memory. And so it's just making sure you're focused. And so when I say those two key words, it reminds me to just be focused. What are the words? I say chest up and push through. So it doesn't really make sense to anyone else, yeah. but it makes sense to me. Sure. Maybe that will help <laughs> BYU basketball shoot free throws better. <laughs> yeah, chest up and push through. <laughs> <laughs> Peter, I, if, I, I if, I, if I walk into your house, where are the, where are the medals? Not that... Yeah, no. Yeah. They, they, How you quickly plan, do I see them? Yeah, exactly. That sounded no, I, weird. Um, How quickly do I see them? Uh, they're... Uh, they're off in a corner somewhere, yeah. That, yeah, just in a dining room area. So yeah. it's, it's um, I'm, I'm grateful. They, they're just more of a symbol of all the effort, just as any of her awards are, yeah. or the awards my other children have. I so. felt super weird about how I asked that. So if I rob your house, <laughs> where am I going to find where the gold Where am I going to go and be able to steal those? Yeah, the mustache has <laughs> affected me negatively. I, I apologize. <laughs> Yeah, let's end with that. How would you rate Jerem's mustache, both of you? Peter, you go first. Oh, my gosh. No. Uh, on a scale of one, a gymnastic scale of one to ten. Yes. Ooh, I, yeah. I don't know. But that. But if I were to give him a score below ten, then that would mean that there was a, de a deduction somewhere. And okay. I'm There's not, lots I'm not, of I'm not prepared to, to make that judgment. <laughs> wow. Your okay. Turn, Emily. Emily, are you prepared to make that judgment? Um, 9.85. Wow. <laughs> That's good. You guys are great human beings. Yeah. yeah. I know it's not true, but I appreciate it. <laughs> The Vidmars in studio. It'd be great to have you both. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. Good luck on Friday night, Emily. Let's have Thank you guys you. sign our flag if you don't mind.